Okay, so it's looking like Malika Andrews and ESPN finally got a taste of real audience feedback. Malika Andrews was booed on live television. And a lot of people is highlighting this video, and I want to highlight it because, of course, you know, we covered Malika Andrews on this YouTube channel. And, you know, I pretty much broke everything down about Malika Andrews. I got a full playlist covering Malika Andrews. And, you know, for ESPN to constantly try to force Malika Andrews on their audience is kind of disgusting, in my opinion, because not too long ago, she was just on ESPN with Molly Kiram. I didn't do a video about it because it really wasn't too much to highlight. I tried to see if anybody else did videos on it. Nobody really covered it. So I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure everybody probably thought the same thing that I did, that there wasn't really much to go off from that. But, you know, just adding that on to this video that I'll be highlighting, you know, it just goes to show you how much ESPN really doesn't care because it's like, why would y'all have Malika Andrews on a top number one show on ESPN? This is the show that Stephen A. Smith constantly brags about. We're number one in ratings. We're number one and blah, 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 blah. So it's like, why would you even bring Malika Andrews on there? Oh, I know. Because they keep trying to pump this girl up when she faced a lot of backlash. ESPN and they mind it's like, let's constantly show her for clicks and ratings because we know it's going to get people talking. Malika Andrews, of course, she's going to do the dirty work. She's going to ask those questions that people is going to deny and not do that. Seriously, like there's a reason why there's not many people doing what Malika Andrews doing because his career is suicide. As soon as you step into that lane and you do what Malika Andrews is doing, you're going to get stuff like this everywhere you go. And this is what happens when Malika Andrews step out. So with that being said, it's a perfect opportunity to highlight the live video of Malika Andrews being booed. Let's check it out right here. Here's the video. 2023 NBA in season tournament awards ceremony, ABC and ESPN's Malika Andrews. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by members of the Boys and Girls Club. 2023 NBA in season tournament awards ceremony, ABC and ESPN's Malika Andrews. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by members of the Boys and Girls Club of C and ESPN's Malika Andrews. Okay, that's the clip of Malika Andrews being booed. You can hear the audience boo her when they introduced her. And, you know, that says a lot, man. You know, um, I'm pretty sure Miley Karam is not really getting booed like that. Miley Karam, she does have some fans and supporters. Malika Andrews, it doesn't really look that way. And I, and like I was saying, it's because Miley Karam, she really doesn't get into what Malika Andrews does. You really can't pull that many videos of Miley Karam doing what Malika Andrews has currently been doing over the past couple of years. And Molly Kiram has been at ESPN for quite some time now. So that right there says enough. Again, you know, Stephen A. Smith, he tries to make it like, oh, she has no choice but to do this stuff. But she does have a choice. If they're going to continue to pump her out like this, Malika Andrews has a choice to say no and not do some of the slander stuff that she does. She can try to clean up her career a little bit. But as you can see, there's something there. Because if you're going to be the person that continues to do that, it goes to show you that, you know, the true character lies in somewhere in between that. So, like, she has to get a kick out of this somewhat. She has to like doing what she does as far as, like, reporting on stuff and slandering players and former coaches and coaches are trying to get jobs and, you know, trying to make it harder for these guys to get opportunities. You know what I mean? So... Again, yeah, can we blame ESPN? Of course, but at some point, if you're going to be the person that constantly accept those jobs and do that, you have to take full responsibility as well for the feedback. And as you can see, that's Malika Andrews' feedback, and I want to leave it off right there, man. Salute if you made it this far in the video. I appreciate your time. Don't forget to hit that like button if you made it this far in the video. Don't forget to subscribe up as well. Catch you guys on the next video, and we out, guys. Peace.